Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Taurus from the 4th to the 10th of March 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. And if you would like a personal reading, I put my details in the description box. So please go to my website and book a reading. I've also put the decks I'm using in the description box and links to Amazon and eBay if you want to buy these decks. And don't forget to watch your yearly spreads as well as the deck reviews that I've been doing. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm just st starting off with the general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. So there's a lot of focus on love. Maybe you're looking for some uh, a new love or maybe you've met somebody and you are spending a lot of time uh, trying, you know, focusing on that. This could also be self-love as well. There's abundance coming in for you. You've got the world in your hand over here. So this is, you know, getting um, um, uh, money coming in or, you know, this could even be about travel. So you might be thinking of travel. Maybe this is a love for travel. So maybe you want to travel as well. Maybe you're communicating as well on an international way. Uh, with this abundance card and that is how the fi finances is coming in you're going to a period of confusion not really knowing what to do right now so you're trying to find your path in life as well now in the past you may have received some bad news uh, but uh, it has given you a lot of answers to a lot of questions so you've been dealing with that but you've also found a lot of solutions to a lot of problems by reviewing that information that came in now going to the future you've got the woman of the world that's why i thought that this might be you know you um going traveling, taking some kind of trip. So this is you, you know, finally uh, not being so naive about things. Uh, so maybe you'll be traveling around the world, but this could also be uh, you getting inspiration or getting information that is, uh, you know, uh, maybe you grew up after learning that in, that uh, information, you know, um, it's uh, brought a, a new maturity to your life. And you might be dealing with people that are very greedy or people that want more than you can give. So you could be dealing with that kind of people uh, as well. And that's, those are the energies coming up uh, for that week. So this is the Cook's Tarot. And I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw some cards from it. So you've got the Nine of Cups over here, and this is a wish fulfillment card, you know, achieving success. Uh, it's also, you know, getting things that uh, you've been desiring for a long time, things coming to fruition finally for you, and, you know, the cups filling up. So you're getting that emotional satisfaction, and it looks like, you know, you're getting your independence with this Nine of Cups. She's there by herself, but she's enjoying what she's drinking. So uh, you are very proud of what you have achieved so far and you have your independence and it's now finally bringing in some abundance as well. So this Nine of Cups is an excellent card to start off with because you're getting that fulfillment, that emotional abundance uh, and maybe just getting a wish fulfilled really. With the Four of Wands, it's about um, stability. So that is coming in for you. So maybe this is what you've been wishing for, stability to come in. Uh, you know, you might be even getting married because this man's offering this woman a... Um, a ring over here but it's also a fact that you know you could be getting news about signing contracts or starting something new some new project that is going to be stable uh, and it's going to bring you a, a lot of abundance because you can see there's a lot of grapes of here a celebration coming in so this could be signing a new contract um you know in the form of either a business contract or it could be even in the form of a marriage contract you've got the king of wands of here so it seems like somebody might be offering you a contract over here you can see this is a ring that's a contract and this man is the king who's seen this cook's uh, the chef's work and is very impressed and now is offering him a job so you can see that there might be something that's coming in with an offer for you and you know you you'll be signing some kind of contract uh you know uh, some kind of stable job that's going to bring you a lot of renown uh, but it's also going to bring you a lot of stability as well so that's excellent and it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time because you've got this nine of cups there 
and the past you've been waiting the hangman is everything has been at a bit of a standstill uh and you really this card advises not to do anything particularly uh you know it will all fall into your hands so this is where you have been at looking at things from a very different angle making those sacrifices that were necessary but also waiting for things to come to you now you've decided uh you know what you wanted to do this is taking charge of the situation and moving forward so in the past three months you've taken control of whatever's been going on and you are working towards that you know you're being inspired you you're directing your energies uh, you're being very focused and you're trying to achieve here with this uh, chariot card so what's in your mind you might be waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in with this justice card of here trying to make a decision or waiting for a legal decision to come in and also a card of trying to find your balance on the other hand it might be that you're just trying to lose some weight <laughs> or going on a diet so you know uh, keeping it mundane <laughs> so this could read the case as well so going into the future, you're very stressed out about something. You expect the worst case scenario, maybe not sleeping uh, at night, having a lot of negative thoughts as well. You can see this is a shadow of a man with a, a chopper or cleaver. Uh, and so, you know, you're expecting the worst things to happen. And this is what's keeping that anxiety going. Maybe it's about a legal decision that you're waiting for. You're waiting for the worst case scenario to happen. Now, what's happening with you? Uh, you've got the three of wands over here. So you've put out some kind of project and you're waiting for it to return. Uh, you know, it is coming. It's being, you can see this person's got a fire and they're trying to attract this ship and it is moving towards them. So whatever projects you've put in, whatever ideas you've put out is going to be coming back to you. Uh, you just have to have a little bit of patience because it is being... Uh, you know, people are seeing it, they are appreciating it, and, you know, you will get returns from it. So, you know, your ships will come in. You've got the Emperor card over here. So this could be dealing, you know, taking charge of a situation, taking control of that situation. On the other hand, it could well be dealing with either a father figure, somebody who is a bit authoritative, you know, um, a bit of a um, boss bully. This could be your boss that you're working for. It could also be an Aryan that you're dealing with, an Aries person. So uh, this could be somebody that you're dealing with you know, in surroundings that's causing a little bit of, you know, maybe a little bit of, maybe they're causing the anxiety that you're, you're dealing with as well. So you've got the Four of Pentacles over here. You're trying to protect whatever is yours, whatever you have accumulated. You're worried about theft. You're worried that people will take away the things uh, that you value. So you are trying to protect it. So going into the future, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Swords, and the Moon card. The Wheel of Fortune is a positive change coming, a big change coming that is going to be uh, bring in abundance. It's a card ruled by Jupiter. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It's a benefic planet, which means it gives you good luck. Uh, so that means that whatever change is coming is going to bring uh, prosperity to you. So that is coming in. Uh, so sit back and relax and have a cup of tea while you wait for this prosperity to come in, really. Uh, and Six of Swords is moving away from any kind of negative situation and negative people and moving away, starting something brand new that was is going to bring growth for you. So you've got moving away from a difficult a position this wheel of fortune comes in brings in that change that allows you to move on so you know uh, clarity you know you're, you're a bit confused a bit still a bit um negative a bit confused a bit upset about things still a bit depressed and you need to get yourself out of that cycle um you know the moon can tend to you know uh um, like I always say, uh, produce monsters out of uh, shadows. So try not to uh, get too much in your head, get out of your head uh, and um, stop overthinking the situation, uh, you know, because it might be something that's not as bad as, it, as you are making it out to be. Because even here, you know, overly anxious about a situation that might not even manifest as something bad. So, uh, you know, try to be positive. Try to think positively because the Wheel of Fortune is coming in for you. You've got the Nine of Cups over here. That is a wish fulfillment card, um, you know, and underneath it is the Ace of Cups. So something brand new coming in that's going to bring in a lot of happiness for you, uh, you know, and a lot of contentment. This teapot has got a lot of hearts on it. It's going to allow you to relax. A lot of emotional fulfillment coming in for you. So try not to be so anxious about a situation. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. This is for the Oracle read. And the first card is the Magician, which is showing there is magic in the air. You can manifest 
everything you need to be successful. So you have what it takes, you have all the tools and you know you're in this manifesting phase so be positive, always be positive while you're manifesting and starting um, you know something brand new which is you know uh, there's a lot of power and you have a lot of knowledge, knowledge is power, the magician is about uh, manifesting that knowledge into something physical so you will be able to do that. The lovers is about choice and so uh, and it says, follow your heart and um, with caring actions and choices. And um, true and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. So this could be the beginning of a new relationship, but this is, could also be a choice that brings you a lot of happiness. And the last card is the Eight of Autumn, which says it's a perfect time to learn all that you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. Do your best work, and the Law of Attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancements. So this is specializing in things, and uh, you know, focusing on that work, and you know, everything um, that all that knowledge learning that knowledge so that you can manifest uh, so this could be taking seminars or starting some new kind of study cycle but this is also about uh, specializing in whatever you've been doing so <laughs> my cat always comes here for the Torian readings I really don't know why but uh, she loves the Torian readings so anyway focus on your work focus on your um, you know your career and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance um, you know you might have that decision to make about which way to go uh, but it looks like there might be some kind of um, offer that comes in for you that's going to lead to a stability and um, maybe this is the choice about taking that offer on and it's going to bring in uh, you know abundance and wealth and a lot of uh, acclaim as well coming in with this new uh, offer that comes in. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.